Hey guys, this is Dwayne and I'm back with another video. I want to talk to you about my generator. It's a Champion 3400 dual fuel generator. Okay, I'm not going to get in the weeds about this generator. There's tons of videos out there that uh, go over all the technicalities of this generator. I just like the fact that it is dual fuel. That means it can burn propane or gasoline and that it has an electric start, uh, which is kind of disabled and that's gonna be, not disabled, but which I will go through that part of what I'm gonna do to the generator today. But it has uh, uh, your regular 120 outlets right here, uh, it's got your breakers for the 30 and the 20 amp, uh, eco mode, uh, it's got a uh, choke here, manual choke, and then this is the switch for dual fuel, propane, or gas, just that simple, and it has a, fuel, uh, a pull start. Uh, the only dislike, which I know that is just inherent with uh, with generators in general is the weight. This thing weighs about a hundred pounds and uh, it can give you a good workout, but it's got wheels so you can roll it around. We haven't used it a whole lot, but we plan on using it more here in the future because we're going to be doing some extended travel. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Also, we got it because if we have a hurricane or power outage, what we can do is just take this and go and live in the RV. This thing has a 30 amp, it's, it says RV ready outlet. I've already tested it on propane and gas and it does run everything that we need to live in the camper. So as I was going through just some general maintenance, actually just trying to run the generator because it's recommended that you run this generator frequently and I found out last night that I was not running it frequent uh, enough. This generator comes with a small battery. Like I said, it's got an electric start or a battery start. And it also has a pull start. Well, the thing that I found out was the fact that once this battery goes dead, in other words, you can't charge it anymore, it just goes dead. You cannot start this generator with gas. I switched it over to propane and it would pull start with propane, but I could not get it to start with gas. So I was frustrated because I thought maybe I had bad gas or, or <laughs> no pun intended, but uh, <laughs> that it just, it, I, I didn't know what was wrong with it. So I did some research and come to find out that there's a little known fact from what I found out is that if you do not have a charged battery the electronics in this will not allow you to start it with gas because the it has to be able to differentiate between gas and propane it does have a switch but there's a valve that needs to be open for gas that's controlled electronically and I got this not so much from uh, 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 looking at uh, champions Website, I could not find it on Champion's website, but I did find it from, it appeared to be a Champion rep, and I'll try to screenshot that and put a, uh, a picture of that in there, and it was actually on Amazon in their customer support. So he said that you had to have a battery. Well, I tried to, a charged battery. So I tried to charge this, Nothing happened. It wouldn't charge. So I went and got another battery. So that's what I'm going to do today. And we're going to see if that works. Okay. I have the battery connected. And follow the instructions as far as how to connect the battery. It suggested that you connect the red first and then the black last. And it has this little strap that goes in here to hold everything in place. Okay, now for the start test. So I'm 
gas, turn it on, pull the choke. So if you have a champion generator, especially one with a battery, and it has the start, I don't know about the remote start, but I know about this one. If you have one that the battery is dead and it will not start when the gas is in the gas mode, that is gonna be your problem. Unless, I also read that the inverter part of this could be messed up, which will also cause it not to start. But mine would start with propane. And this is the uh, adapter for the propane. This end goes on the bottle. This end goes inside here. And it runs great. Does not have the same power that it would um, if it was on gas. But I can tell you from testing it on our camper, we are able to at least survive. We can run the air conditioner, we can run the microwave and the air conditioner at the same time, charge the battery. Uh, that's going to be what we're going to try to do here in the next, uh, probably the next camping season, but in the next two or three months. But this, I'm so glad that that, that worked. I also learned that you have to do maintenance on this battery. This is not uh, uh, I guess it's so delicate of a battery that you either, if you're not going to use it for a while, take it out, put it on a very slow trickle charge, let it charge while you're not using it. But I did read again in the manual, which you know a lot of men, we don't like to read uh, instructions, but it did say to run this generator at least every two weeks. Didn't say for how long. But I'm pretty sure that is to maintain the battery and all the other components in the generator. Uh, so we're gonna, now I know that this is gonna work when we go on a trip. Uh, I'll always check your equipment, especially equipment like this before you leave. Uh, even on your camper, just run through it real quick if you have the, not if you have the time, take the time because then that will save you stuff on, on the other end so you can enjoy your camping trip, whether it is a uh, weekend or whether it's a month. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. Check out the Champion dual fuel generator or any type of inverter generator that will run your camper. Hey guys, take it easy. Uh, we love you guys. Our channel is growing. We really appreciate it. And uh, for those of you who have sub subscribed and watch, we just enjoy your comments. So don't forget, subscribe, watch, uh, ring the bell, all that kind of stuff. And hey, take care and God bless.